at the end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. So yeah, welcome guys to Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Ultimate Evil Edition. This is obviously uh, Diablo 3 with the Reaper of Souls expansion pack. Or the Reaper of Souls uh, chapter add-on. Now, I have played through this game already once. Um, a couple of problems that will arise uh, through gameplay is once you complete the game once and you max out your character level uh you start to get what are called paragon levels and what they are is um for anybody who's played like borderlands 2 uh the badass tokens it's essentially the same idea you get a point for each paragon level and you can put that into um like it rotates around four different categories each paragon level you get one point uh, you can put those into, you know, certain, certain stats and increase ever so slightly certain statistics on your character. Um, and of course my guy has like 156 and all that stuff carries over as well as, um, anything that was in your, uh, other characters, uh, like loot chest or not loot chest, but like storage chest, um, that carries over between characters as well as gold carries over between characters. I wasn't aware of that um, when I decided to do this let's play. Uh, however, I am aware of it now. I won't be using, I won't be putting any points into the Paragon levels and I won't be using any gold, at least not in the beginning portions of the game. You know, maybe the first couple chapters. Gold to me is pretty... Okay, when you first start the game, Gold is pretty important. However, once you start getting into it, the the items you get drop-wise are so much better than what you can purchase in the store anyway. So, really, gold just kind of becomes a, a thing, and all you really use gold for is to, you know, fuse gem pieces together to get better gems, which is really all I was doing for, like, the last 
I don't even know how many levels. So, I am going to start a new character. I already have him here. Um, so yeah, anybody who has never played uh, any of the games in the Diablo series, um, it, to me it's a magnificent series. Um, Diablo 2, though, is still the staple game for me. I Don't get me wrong, Diablo 3 is a great game. Um, but like many sequels, you know, they, they add stuff that's cool, but they take away things that they should have kept. Uh, you know, same thing with like the Fallout games and it, most sequels are like that. However, um, I, I do still love Diablo 3. I really do. Diablo 1 was alright. Diablo 2 for me was the best. But, um, obviously being Ron console, this game is optimized for computers, really. I mean, they did an excellent job in Diablo 3 of, uh, you know, implementing it for controllers. But it really is a PC-based game, and it is a lot better on PC. However, I'm just going to shut up, and let's get started here. Now, I could go hard, I could go expert. Um, obviously, depending on uh, whichever game mode you want to play on, when you first start the game, like from the very beginning, if you've never played the game before, um, I believe you only have normal, hard, and maybe expert unlocked? I don't remember exactly. Um, but you can unlock other difficulties, you know, the further you go and the, the, the more you play. Uh, as you can see there, uh, you get gold boosts and experience boosts and, uh, you know, gems appear more often and new legendary items the further up you go. So, the difficulty increases, but so does the loot drop. I think what I might do is I might play it on... I think we'll just go ahead and play it on uh, hard mode. For now, we'll get a 75% extra gold bonus and a 75% uh, extra experience bonus. It's not a huge thing, but like I said, we're I'm starting this as a new game and I'm just going to play through it for you guys, so At 12, I swore the oath, leaving home and family. At 16, I saw my master die. I took up his shield and his name, and on that day, I became a crusader. Armored by faith, driven by duty, bound to kill the enemies of Zakarum. Sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Now, corruption returns to the hearts of men. I see it in the eyes of the mad. Hear it in the howling of the damned. A falling star in the west leads me to the town of New Tristram. The crusade calls me. And so, I go. So yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to mention we're playing as a crusader. There is death here too. We're playing as a crusader, um, which is my favorite class in the game, uh, my personal favorite class. Uh, there's also you can play as a barbarian, uh, you can play as a wizard, you can play as a witch doctor, um, you can play as a demon hunter, and you can also play as a monk. And I think that's all of them. I think that covers all of them. Uh, in Diablo 2, I played the druid i never actually played any other classes other than the druid well i lie i did play as a barbarian i think i had one barbarian character but i mostly played as the druid um i just like the abilities that the druid had and everything i'm not a huge magic user i don't i don't know i'm just not a fan of magic uh what the crusader has is um oh my what is it called now 
It, it's not mana. It's um. Uh. Jeez, I don't even remember what it's called now. But yeah, anyway. Uh, he can summon, like, holy powers and stuff. It's not really magic. It's more like summoning, summoning type stuff. Um, but yeah, he uh, specializes in maces. Um, and flails, obviously. Um, his specialty, uh, crusader only item is a crusader shield, which are a lot larger than normal shields. Obviously he can, he can use other shields, but like a, a crusader shield is specifically for the crusader class. So he gets like bonuses and stuff for using them. Uh, for anybody who's never played the Diablo games, it's basically a, I call him a dungeon crawler hack and slash. You pretty much just run around and, like, kill everything. <laughs> everything that tries to kill you, you just kill and slaughter massive hordes of enemies. And you gain experience, and it, it is an RPG. But it's very straightforward, I guess. You can't really say it's an open-ended world, at least not until you beat the game. Then it becomes open-ended, I guess. You can go wherever you want and do whatever you want. Um, but until you, like, follow the main story and whatnot, it's kill you it's not really open-ended uh, at this point Greetings. I am a crusader of the Zakarum faith, and I saw a star falling on this town. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. But yeah, uh, as you kill enemies, some of them will drop these red orb things, which is like a, a small boost to health. Or it's almost like a potion, if you want to call it that. Um, one of the things that they did change from this, uh, from Diablo 2 to this, is uh, if you see down in the lower left-hand corner, uh, there is, for the LB button, a potion. You actually have unlimited of those. Um, they have to recharge after each use, but you have unlimited of them. In Diablo 2, you had to find potions or buy potions and keep them in your inventory. And you only had so much room in your inventory, so it, it made it a little more challenging. And in this one, you can actually find um, different potions to put in that slot that have like you know, higher healing abilities and other stuff on top of that. I kind of find that cheap in, in a way. That's just me speaking. Uh, you know, some people obviously like it, but to me, I'm not a big fan of it. I actually rarely, you rarely ever need it. It's only there for emergencies because like I said, enemies tend to drop, you know, those red orbs and uh, they also drop yellow orbs every now and then, which uh, gives you a boost, like a 20 second boost to double your damage. Which is great when you're fighting massive hordes of enemies. But, yeah, obviously we leveled up. Um, here, let me just show you guys real quick. Uh, this is your menu screen. Here you have your inventory. And each of these slots is basically an armor piece. And you can mix and match and, you know, do whatever. You can, you know, helmet, necklace, uh, those are wrists, your wrist guards. Uh, shield or your offhand whatever you use uh, some classes can dual wield so uh, but that's a shield you can have two rings one on each each hand uh, here is your your bag which is essentially like uh, 
I don't want to call it inventory, but you, you keep stuff in here. Um, you can get gifts and stuff uh, through like Herodric caches that you can send other players through the online mode. Um, here, let me go over here real quick. If I can get over there. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, here's cosmetic stuff. Um, at some point, now it's been like a year since I played, but at some point, um, Blizzard apparently gave out, uh, Mercy's Gaze Wings, which are cool. You know, I can equip them if I want to. I'm not going to until we get a lot better armor, then I'll, then I'll throw them on. Um, but yeah, you have stuff here like, um, you know, your miscellaneous stuff, like your, your potions, if you get any of those, like I said, to equip, um... You also get uh, gems and stuff. They come later in the game. Uh, I'll explain that more when we get into it. But then down here are your regular gems, uh, which can be socketed into items. And socketed items are, you know, exactly what they say. They're socketed. You can put gems in, take gems out, depending on how many sockets are in the item. Um, but yeah, then you have your, your feet. Obviously, your boots, your pants, your belt, uh, your weapon, or your, your main hand weapon, um, your hand guards, gloves, uh, pauldrons, shoulders, and your body armor. So, a lot of stuff to pick up and equip, really. And then down below that, you have your, your attack power, uh, which is the sword. Your shield is your defensive power. Uh, and the, the plus signs is your, your healing capabilities. Which would be, um, you know, if you have any items that can heal you heal you over time. Which you tend to find a lot of. Uh, below that is your, you know, your main stats. Your strength, your dexterity, your intelligence, and your vitality. Uh, dexterity and intelligence for me, I really don't care about. Uh, I'm going for strength and vitality build. And then, of course, your name, your level. And then next to that in the blue is the paragon level that I was telling you guys about. Which I can put points in if I want to, which is over here. I'm not going to, because that's that was earned through another character, and I want to go through this as base as possible. So, And then below that is your gold, and then next to that is blood shards, which is something else that I'll explain later, because that doesn't come in until later in the game. Obviously, we have a shit ton of gold. Uh, 10 million, you know, plus gold is a lot of gold, especially at the start of the game. So I'm not going to be using any of that. We will find our equipment, and we will go from there. Um... Another thing, here are skills. Um, you unlock these. Obviously, you can see the level that you unlock. Level 4, level 9, level 14, 19, 70, 30, 20, 10. Uh, this one here is... Kane's Cube or Kane's Cube. I don't have Kane's Cube, so I don't, I don't know about that. But, um... Yeah, you know, you have different different skills, and you unlock through through each level. Um, I'll explain that more as we go along. But right now we have Punish, which is Wrath. That's what I was getting on about before. You don't have mana, you have what's called uh, Wrath. <clears throat> which is sort of like the same thing, but not really. Um, but yeah, we have Punish unlocked for our primary attack, which is essentially just attacking. Um... It says generate five wrath per attack. So it doesn't use wrath, but it'll it'll generate wrath for each each attack. And it requires a shield in order to use it. Um, shield bash, it costs twenty five wrath, and you charge your enemy bashing them, you know, with, with your shield. That one was just unlocked when we leveled up, so I'll be able to show you guys that then. But you unlock different skills as you go, and like I said, I'll 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 show you guys all that stuff, you know, as we get further in. Uh, what else do we have? Paragon, I told you about. Um, I'm not going to be using it. We're not in a party, and here's our, our quest screen. Uh, your main objectives, and, um, you know, eventually you get, like, world lore, and people, people journals, and, uh, you know, your quests, and your bestiary, and, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, let's go ahead and continue. I've been doing a lot of talking, and... We'll just get going in here. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world. Can't you see that? 
Zakarum will be restored, friend. So yeah, uh, this is new Tristram. Now there might be a lot of things in here that aren't normally in here at the beginning of the game. Um, obviously, you can create your own banner, which is for like online, really. But here's your blacksmith. Your blacksmith artisan. Um, over here is just a regular merchant. Um, you know, you could sell him stuff, all that. Here's the Book of Cain. Uh, the Book of Cain will identify unidentified items, um, which you will find throughout the game. You'll find like unidentified magic items that you got to bring back and identify them in order to see, you know, what abilities and stuff they have. Here is your stash, which obviously if I open it up, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. You will see I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in my stash. Obviously, I can't use any of it anyway because it is way, way too overpowered for my, you know, level 2 character. But you can see some of the insane stats on some of this stuff. But yeah, it's a stash, so you can store stuff in here and, and whatnot. Um, obviously, anything that you store in the stash... Um, yeah, anything you store in the stash will, will be saved there. This here is your, um, like your, your quick link or your, I don't know, you want to call it like a teleporter. Once you unlock other areas, you can quick travel or fast travel between places. So yeah, we can't really get anywhere else yet, so we gotta go into the, the slaughtered cap in. So let's go in and talk to Leia. Are you Leia? They tell me you survived the falling star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but the Watch out! The wounded are turning! So here, there, there's the shield bash ability, which is uh, pretty freaking powerful. But you can see the wrath over in the corner. It goes down, but it slowly regenerates. So the dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. Something like putting the dead back to sleep. I could do that. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. We will do that. But first, I'm going to go in here. Go into Leia's room. And here's a book. She's or a been journal. Under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon. Now, journals and stuff, they're, they're kind of hidden all over the place. And you, you gain experience for finding them. They're not a necessity. Um... But they do give, give you experience. As well as a little backstory and insight on the game. Now, um, her uncle, Deckard Kane, is... Has been in... Uh, oh, here's another one. For many years, villagers were too afraid to settle near the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral. And their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. Fewer travelers visit now, though, and the town is mostly populated by craftsmen and farmers. But yeah, anyways, I was saying, Deckard Kane has been in every Diablo game to date. Um, he is sort of the, um, what do you want to call him? He's sort of like the, 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 I don't want to say visionary, but he, the, the prophet, I guess, you want to call him a prophet, um, he's able to see, you know, Diablo's coming and all that stuff, and basically prepare the world for the inevitable to fight off Diablo and Diablo's brothers. Sorry about that, I had a message. So yes, yeah, so let's go talk to Captain Rumford. I've come to help. 
How do we stop these risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Have faith, Captain. Have faith. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Right. There. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Obviously, as you can see, the enemies are doing slightly more damage and are also taking, you know, more of a beating. And that's going to happen as you get through the game. Um, enemies sort of tend to level up with you. To a point, anyway. Now, there's lots of stuff in this game to break. Um, I advise breaking as much stuff as possible because stuff is hidden inside inside things, and um, just, yeah, you can you can find stuff all over the place. You can also get a, a combo going. Um, when you get a combo going, depending on how, how high the combo is, you can get a an experience boost, which is nice. Here's some gloves. Blessings of the light. And a level up. Now, those gloves were uh, automatically equipped because we weren't wearing any, obviously. But you'll find like corpses and stuff as well while you're walking around and uh, if you walk over them you know they'll, they'll you'll see them move sometimes they drop things sometimes they don't quill fiends Now we have to kill three of those wretched mother things, which are like the vomiting zombie ladies. Uh, I think we only killed one. We might have killed two. Not sure. Ah, there you go. Traveler's Journal. Travel uh, Traveler's Journal. While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, I came upon a most grisly sight. A heap of dead bodies. Unbelievably, as I was searching them for any items of value, they began to rise. I must tell them of this in New Tristram before it's too late. Well, obviously he didn't get there. Now, the map is blacked out from... Well, that's kind of creepy. The king has gone mad. Executing anyone his paranoid eye falls on. None of us are safe. Well, that was short and sweet. Um, the map is blacked out down in the lower right hand corner and you have to uncover it as you go now the map is not always the same so you could you could come back you know after after a couple days of not playing the game you could come back and it'll be completely reset and not the same way that it was originally uh, some areas do stay the same for you know storyline purposes but a lot of the, the areas do not stay the same let's go down to the musty cellar will be a good battle. Oh my. Now, I'm not sure we'll actually be able to take this guy on, so I'm going to leave. He's quite uh, quite strong. You'll find enemies like that. You have like um rare enemies, you have elite enemies. Um what else are there? Like champions, they're called champions. They'll 
they'll be glowing like blue, and they usually come in like groups of three or four. And they're stronger than the regular, the regular versions of that enemy. However, they drop better loot when they die. Um, that yellow one that was down there with the purple name, um, he is um, considered a, like a mini boss type guy. And he had a bunch of little yellow minions that follow him around too. The minions don't usually drop anything good. They just have like boosted health and, and they deal more damage. Um, but if I would have managed to kill him, he he probably would have dropped a lot of really good stuff. They usually drop really good loot and all that stuff. Ouch. So we need one more wretched mother. All I've seen are quill fiends. go level four and that should have yep we have an active skill category unlocked now and shield glare um, which down the corner there you can see uh, X is shield glare and what shield glare does is it um, when you use it it will blind enemies here I'll show you there you go he's blinded and they can't really attack you until the blind goes away now, it only lasts for a couple seconds, but it's good for getting a few hits in on bosses and uh, just blinding massive groups of people. It gives you a chance to get away, I guess. Now surprisingly, we haven't really found any any good items. There we go. Uh, some boots and a reptilian buckler. Those are just plain boots. Um, items. There is a color system for items. Um, white items are just plain regular items. Uh, nothing with them at all. Gray items are broken or there's something wrong with them. So they're usually junk items. Blue, like this one here, is a magic item. Um, and then it goes to, what is after blue? I think after blue is purple. And then yellow and then orange, I believe is the highest. So you have like magic and then legendary I don't I don't remember exactly how it works I don't think there's a purple though I think it's just it's blue yellow orange and then green are set items which are uh, you get like set bonuses for uh, I don't really know how to explain it there's magical set items and if you collect all the items in the set and you wear all the pieces or if you wear so many pieces you get a certain bonus set items are pretty hard to come by Right, so I think that does it for the... We'll go ahead and use a potion. And down there in the corner, you can see it recharging. Uh, 
Now that buckler that I got, um, it's not as good as my current shield uh, defensive wise. However, if you look at it, let's look at it closer here. Uh, there you go, compare it. Um, however, if I would equip it, I'd have one less defense. However, I would get plus two life per second, which is like a healing, a healing thing. So I would heal over time. Um, it has less chance to block. Uh, however, the block amount is about the same. So I could equip it. Um, I might actually do that just so I have uh, the healing capabilities. I picked up a couple weapons there too. A simple dagger and a short bow. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to equip that simple dagger because it's, it's for whatever reason, it's better than the rusty, the rusty flail. Now in real life, I don't think that... <laughs> That wouldn't work in real life. Um, the rusty flail would outdo the, the simple dagger for sure. Um, bows. Bows I can't use. Um, I'm pretty sure they are... Um, are they... Demon, demon hunter class only, I believe? Anything you can't use will have that red X across it. You can still pick them up and sell them and stuff, but you just can't use them with the character that you have. Alright, let's continue on. Old Tristram. Pablo himself was here. Right, now she is a boss. She's not very tough though because she is the, the first boss. Or the first mini boss. Now she dropped a pretty good axe. Well, it's not that great. I thought it would be. Masterful, masterful hand axe of slaughter. Uh, plus four life after each kill. Reduces all resource cost by 5%. Three to four damage. Does less... Less overall damage, but it gives plus four life after each kill. Um, I don't think I'm going to go with that, actually. There's a short sword. Uh, and somehow the short sword is not as good as the simple dagger, either. Which makes no sense to me, but, you know, it's whatever. Ah, nice. Gathering cloth tunic. So, that's why I said you gotta go around and you gotta break stuff, because anything could be hiding in anywhere. <clears throat> so that gathering cloth tunic, uh, three armor, and gold and health pickup increases by two yards. Now basically what that means is you can, you don't have to be as close to things to pick them up. You can just walk near them and pick them up. It's not really that great of a, of a magic thing, but, you know, it's our first piece of armor. I'm not gonna complain. Basically, all I'm doing right now is just uncovering, you know, what there is left to uncover in this area. You don't have to. You don't have to uncover the entire map. You basically just have to go to your little, your little glowing icon, which is, you know, your, your rally point or where you're supposed to go. Obviously, we can't get through that gate yet. But here's the waypoint. Uh, we go here and we can fast travel. Obviously, we're at the old ruins right now. We want to go back to New Tristram. Um... As you find waypoints, you'll unlock them. They'll pop up all over the map there, and you can fast travel to different areas without having to walk through, you know, each individual area again.
Great, so let's talk to Captain Rumfer. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. She's brave. With help, she may yet save Kane. Blessings of the light. So yeah, your first, um, I don't know, 10, 15 levels or so, they don't take long at all. Um, just doing quests and finding journals and, you know, just slaughtering massive hordes of enemies. It really does not take long to gain experience. Oh, nice. Reptilian cloth pants of slaughter. Were those already equipped? Yes, they were. Plus four life per second, plus three life after each kill. Those are actually pretty nice. Leah, let's find your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. Then we will go there. Uh, so instead of walking all the way, we can fast travel back to the old ruins. Here, let me open the gate. And that is one hell of a lock. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. And your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Captain Dalton! Alright, another little boss type enemy. As you can see, my health is actually regenerating, and that is thanks to the... Whoa, gotta stay away from that. Um, boss type enemies like that, they tend to have special abilities. Um, that one is like a frost ability. And when those explode, if you're caught within the circle, it'll actually freeze your character. That's probably one of the more annoying ones. That and wall and mortar. Adventuring Targe Shield. Now you saw um, you saw Frost with this guy um, when we went into that cellar where I didn't fight those those uh, zombies. Um, you can see those rock walls kind of pop up. That was a wall ability. They're pretty annoying too because they can manage to trap you inside. Um, you can find like special boots and stuff that'll allow you to walk through stuff like that, which is really nice I actually had those on my uh, I have those on my previous character so wall does nothing um, but they can manage to trap you in areas and that's just not fun at all especially when they have like everybody there attacking you um, mortar they fire they'll shoot like fireballs basically like mortars they deal quite a bit of damage they're really annoying as well but yeah uh, they all have special abilities. Uh, they also have like shockwave and just all sorts of stupid stuff. You'll you'll see it, you know, as the game progresses. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will go. Stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. I wanna, whoa, easy there guys. Okay, you guys can stop coming out of the ground anytime you want. Thank you. Now, as I was saying, I'd like to see what that shield... Holy crap. Look at that. 
48 armor. Uh, adventuring Targe shield. Uh, plus 2 experience per kill. Uh, plus 20% chance to block, which is a massive increase. Uh, 3 to 18 block amount. It's a level 3 shield, but look at that. 48 armor compared to 9. Now, we won't get that plus 2 life per second bonus that we get from the re Reptilian bl uh, Buckler. However, we do have those Reptilian Pants, which give us, like, plus 4 anyway. And then we get plus extra bonus on top of that for killing enemies. So we're going to go with the Adventuring Targe. Now, these episodes of Diablo 3 are probably going to be longer than the ones for Fallout. I'm going to try and keep these ones around an hour. Uh, the fight is over for this one. Tristram Cathedral, the fallen star lies within. Indeed, it does. However, I'm going to try and explore a little bit out here. Nothing. Can I get in there? No, I can't. All right, so into the cathedral. And this is obviously where the intro movie uh, took place, which I'm, I'm hoping when I upload this to YouTube, I'm hoping that uh, the content doesn't get like blocked or whatever, you know? For copyright issues. I don't know why it would, but I'm really hoping it, it, it'll keep the cutscenes in with the game, because you really do need the cutscenes in order to get the story. So yeah, welcome to the cathedral, the, the cathedral depths, I guess, or the bowels of the cathedral. The star is close. Now, as you can see there, um, trap kill. You'll find objects laying around in like dungeons and stuff that you can activate. Wow, look at all that gold. Um, that you can activate, which will activate a trap. And you get bonuses for like certain combos and stuff. Um, if you if you break a whole bunch of items within a small amount of time, you'll get like a boost to your speed for a short amount of time. Trap kill. I forget what that does. Um, when you get a trap kill bonus. But yeah, we'll start seeing a lot of uh, newer enemies now. Like the carrion bats and... other undead type things. Oh, here's a book. My name is Lakdanan, and I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. So yeah, here's another, another trap. There you go. Um, double resources gained. Uh, punish rune unlocked. Now, I'm not quite sh When you block with hardened senses activated, you have a chance to explode with fury, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Now, what I want, I actually want to... change that. I'm going to put it on slash um, from the the other one. 
Uh, I like Slash because it ignites, like it says, ignite the air in front of you, damaging all enemies caught in the flames. Now, it starts out as fire, but you can, un the next one is lightning that you unlock, and then, you know, you can unlock different, different little things down there at the bottom, as you can see, the skill runes. So, we are going to go ahead with Slash. And I don't think I unlocked... Nope, got nothing else yet. Which is fine. Grotesque. These things are horrible. When they die, they explode into these corpse worms. This is Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear, and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Afraid to speak against the Archbishop, the counselors nodded their empty heads in agreement, and sent us off to die. Right, so we obviously went the wrong way. Let's take a right and go down here. Uh, there's a crossbow. Again, that's a weapon that I can't use. That's for the Demon Hunter class. We thought we could keep the dead trapped here. Akarat, save me. Akarat hears you, friend. Okay, thank you for throwing your gold at me. Ah, oh, there you go. Seven items crushed. You get a, a speed bonus, as you can see there. Ah, there we go. Double damage. Now there, we picked up low-quality bracers. They were equipped, obviously, because we didn't have any bracers. These guys are taking quite a beating now. Not ready yet. There we go, there's our target down to the next area. Foul minions, stay back! Back! May this wedge hold. The skeleton king? The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods! Bring me his bones! Yes, yeah, so now we start fighting skeletons. Take a cane. 
Back to your graves! Grab that double damage. There we go. A keen javelin. Um, not that great. Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? Your niece asked me to find you, and I agreed. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me. To Tristram. So yes, now we have a waypoint to the Cathedral Garden as well. I rescued the old scholar and learned from him that a creature called the Skeleton King stands between me and the star. But not for long. So, yes, let's talk to Leah. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. It was my duty to help. Now, I would know of the falling star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Nice. Reptilian Boots of the Thorn. Now I'm going to equip those. They're a lot better than what I currently have, which are just plain shoes. Uh, we get plus three life per second and plus one thorn damage, which means uh, anytime an enemy hits me, they take one point of thorn damage, which isn't a lot, but, you know, anything is better than nothing. Um, we can go up here to the merchant, and we can sell our garbage. To the bone to bring you these fine goods. Whoop. I'm buying. I didn't mean to buy. So we're get we're getting a basic loadout right now of equipment. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. Then I will be the cure. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leah, you should not... So if you guys haven't guessed by now, the Skeleton King is the main big boss guy for Chapter 1. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith. Um, this right here is the Mystic Artisan. Um, what she does is... Here, I'll show you real quick. Um, she can enchant stuff. Uh, disenchant stuff. I can't show you right now because I don't have any. Um, but if you have an item that has like quite a few bonuses, like a, a legendary item, um, you can disenchant one thing off of it and kind of re-roll if that makes any sense for anybody who's in like D&D &D. Uh, you can re-roll that stat for a chance at a better stat or you could end up with a worse stat so it's kind of a, a, a chance thing 
I'm not really a big fan of it. I've never used it. Uh, Transmogrify, or Transmography, however you want to say it. Um, here, I'll show you. I'll show you with the simple dagger. Um, if I would go here and want to transmogrify this, as you can see down there, there are um, all these different choices here. Now, what transmography does is uh, it it's basically like it says. You pay her so much money, it shows you the cost there, and she will transform that simple dagger to make it look like one of these items. Um, there's no... There's no stat gains from it. There's no, um, obviously these ones here, well, all of them actually, um, became unlocked because of my previous character. These normally wouldn't be here until you found daggers and stuff that look like this. Um, however, you're basically just paying for cosmetic change. It, this is basically for the people who want to have a character that all around looks cool, I guess. Um, has stuff that matches, you know, matching gear or, you know, they just want a cool looking weapon. So basically, like I said, it's just cosmetic stuff. You can do that with anything. Uh, weapons, armor, obviously if I wanted to, I could do it with armor. I'm not going to though, because like I said, this stuff has to be unlocked, you know, from the beginning of the game before you can even use any of it. And I have everything here, so if I really wanted to, I could make my armor look look like end game armor but I'm not going to I'm not going to do that because that's just that's not how I plan on doing this playthrough so yeah we will do that eventually you know once we get further into the game I will want my armor to match and stuff but let's go down here and talk to the blacksmith are you Hadrig? Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leoric not now that's my wife she's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten I'm to put them all down, but how can I kill my own wife? It is a hard burden you bear. I will help. Thank you. Follow me. Hey, okay. So we're going to follow the blacksmith and kill his wife. Duty blacksmith, no matter how hard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys aren't your friends anymore. Wow, that was quite a hit. Broad Axe of Wounding. Um, that's actually better than what we have. Plus 2 to 3 damage. So it's 10 plus, or 10.4 damage plus 2 to 3 damage. So it's actually, what, 12.4 to 13.4 damage? So that's pretty nice. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. You owe me nothing, friend. But I would welcome your aid in my quest to find the crown of Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And nice. if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. So we got a shield bash rune there. So we'll equip that. The, sh the shield shatters into smaller fragments, and exploding outward and hitting more enemies. 
<clears throat> so it's sort of, sort of like a shotgun. There you go. Now, did I get... I could have swore I got another item there, too. Yeah, Adventuring Javelin of Flame. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. So, yeah, guys, we're going to end this episode here. Seeing as it's been about an hour and five minutes, it's quite a long episode, and it's going to take a while to render it. Um, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, please give it a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, please, you know, don't hesitate to subscribe. I could always use new people, you know, watching my videos and giving me some advice and, you know, whatnot. Um, you know, leave me some comments. You know, I always love to hear feedback. Uh... Whether it be good or bad, I, I really don't care at this point because I'm just doing this for fun. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, Ultimate Evil Edition. Uh, Shadow Dragonic out. Later.